This is Radio Slovakia International. We are with you every day with the latest news, features and information. We begin with the news headlines. Reflections is the name of another interesting exhibition in Bratislava. An American teacher and her students are reflecting their world of art. Michal Groch has had a word with the author of the project, Jessica Perry, a teacher at the Josef Vidra School of Applied Arts. There's quite an interesting exhibition. What is the main idea behind it and what was the main driving force actually to create it? The main driving force was to try to see if we can get an exhibition along with the U.S. Embassy and try to tie it all together with Slovakia. Me being an American teacher teaching in a Slovak school, that wasn't very difficult, especially since it's an art school. Uh, my students and I decided to investigate social and political commentary in artwork, and my students researched social issues and discussed social issues in Slovakia and enlightened me. And uh, I tried to show them some work from international artists and American artists that also deal with social commentary. And then we tried to put it together in some artworks. And in turn, I also have on display here many of my works that are my reflections of my experiences in Slovakia. So what are they? Can you describe them? Well, my work in particular is uh, mostly photographic. That is... uh, turned into photo collages. Most of them deal with repetition and pattern and architecture and how those issues relate to the community of Bratislava and Slovakia at large. Is there any central issue in terms of social commentary? Uh, Particularly with the students, uh, they tend to to focus on anti-discrimination issues. With my work, I was focusing on uh, new and old as well as uh, restoration of the old and how that becomes new again. What's the difference between students that uh, you teach here and students back in America? I can communicate easier with my American students. (laughs) It's mostly language. Unfortunately, I am not fluent in Slovak. My Slovak uh, is... Very, very poor. <laughs> I hope it's getting better. I'm sure Slowly, it is. Pomali. <laughs> but um, it, that tends to be the biggest difference. It's just it takes longer to form a bond with the students here because we have uh, the language barrier does form a barrier. How would you, for example, compare the social commentary here? Like, what's the difference how these students express their uh, sort of uh, perceptions of social commentary from those of American students? I think especially right now, American students would focus more on social commentary that reflects political commentary, whereas here it was definitely very social focus with social issues. But then again, some of it did overlap into a lot of issues with Slovakia entering EU, and but even those issues really related to um, is the EU open to everyone and how will it deal with people of different nationalities and different disabilities or abilities. Is this your uh, first project of this kind? Are you going to uh, do something similar in the future, maybe? Uh, Well, this is the first project in Slovakia that I've done, but it will be touring around Slovakia. Next, it will be in the uh, Oberyn Library in Bratislava, and then it will be going to Ruzhenbrook University, uh, then to um, two libraries, one in Banska Bistrica and one in Košica. Is there anything you would like to add? Uh, Just how fortunate I am that the Fulbright brought me here to uh, Slovakia and then I've had to have these wonderful experiences with my students in the school and the community. That was Michal Groh reporting.